What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with the impossible dress like Tyler the Creator challenge. I've seen your guys comments all over. Trust me, I see them. You guys say, come on, just do the Tyler the Creator outfit challenge. Where's the Tyler challenge? I've seen those and yes, I've been working on it and what do you know, it's finally here. To be honest, there have been a lot of different mixed opinions about this challenge because a lot of people will say things like all he does is wear clothes you can get at Zoomies, just that kind of style of clothing or they'll say, I won't do it because it's too much out of my realm. And that's why a lot of people want me to do it because it is out of my realm a little bit. So it is a little bit different of style because Tyler just has that primarily skater look and a lot of the times he just wears a lot of the same similar outfits. With that being said, I'm not gonna lie that I already have an outfit picked out at the time of filming this because I did some preparation work and I wanted to make sure I was gonna have an outfit that I know I can manage. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that outfit when we jump to the computer because we're gonna jump into getting the different parts of the outfit. but. This was a difficult outfit because I tried to do different aspects with different parts and I tried to research and I tried filming this video before. I filmed this intro before and I found an outfit and I just could not find all the different components and so now I'm here with the ability to maybe with the outfit that I picked to find the different components. I think it's possible with the different outfit that I picked. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and you know, we might just go ahead and jump to the computer and then pull up the outfit that I already found because it took some digging to find it and find different aspects of it. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and try to find the different pieces of the outfit and put it together. Now this isn't going to be a priced outfit challenge at all. There's not even gonna be a price probably in the title of the video because the main goal of this outfit challenge is to just get an outfit that looks like it. So I guess the price doesn't matter. If it's super cheap, I don't mind. If it's super expensive, I don't mind. But I don't think it's gonna be too expensive just because of the nature of the different outfits that he wears. So let's go ahead and get to the computer like I said. I'm gonna break down why I call this an impossible outfit challenge. And obviously, if you're seeing this video, it was not impossible, but it was the most difficult to find the different outfits that kind of mesh in with what I wear. And so I'm gonna go through just a little bit of the outfits and show you what, some of the things that I was seeing. Like, I didn't wanna do outfits like this where it's just a pair of shorts and a t-shirt because it's just very simple. And then you mean you have stuff like this which is different. A lot of the stuff that he wears is Golf Wang, his company, and so, that itself, you can't really get too many cheaper alternatives because the pieces that he makes are kind of unique. I know you could probably find stuff similar to Zumi, that's what a lot of people say, but at the same time, he tries to make pieces that are his own. And then there's outfits like this, like it's a little bit harder. The biggest thing is he wears crop pants and that is like the only thing he really wears as far as pants go. So that was the biggest struggle I think going into this. One thing to mention while going into this is Tyler the Creator used to primarily wear Vans old schools all the time but now he has his Converse One Star, and so that's what he's been wearing a little bit more of those models. Now he has his own one out, but I think the time of the picture that I did find, it wasn't his own, so I'll be able to find that one. So what we're gonna do is pull up the outfit. So this is the outfit I picked right here. As you can see, as we break it down, we have the hat, which is kind of like a five pillar hat, which I'm going to incorporate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a hat just like that with that same style, maybe a different color, something like that. But so you can see just kind of the overall look. We have a green bomber jacket, which is a golf wing jacket, which I know is sold out. So if we go ahead and look at it, uh, it's not even found on there anymore. Their website, they don't even have it. We have a white shirt, which I'm unable to find what the shirt is. So that's gonna be something where it's gonna have to go with the flow and see similar shirts that he wears, maybe just pick something, as well as we have the brown cropped pants. And so that is the thing that I said is gonna be a little bit difficult. And then we have the Navy Converse One Stars. So on this website right here, they have the actual one right there. So we'll pull that up so we can go ahead and see the shoe. Obviously, it's a nice, simple navy shoe, but you have the different colors. The colors in this outfit is weird, and I think the colors that he wears, he doesn't really care to match. So we have green, a different green, white, brown, and navy, which typically is just something weird to put together. First and foremost, we have to find the pants because if we don't have the pants, the outfit isn't gonna work because either then I'll have to buy a pair of pants and cut them, make them cropped, because this outfit does have the cropped ones. And I, I'm curious to see what it look like in cropped pants because I'm nervous, I don't know how I'm gonna look. Some of you guys might not like how I look, but you never know, we just gotta go for it. Sometimes you get to get out of that comfort zone so you guys can see different aspects of the style. So we're gonna type in men's cropped pants. Now for the color, we're not gonna go for brown, but we'll have to see. H&M has some cropped ones right here. ASOS, let's go Urban Outfitters. Let's just see that for now. So here's a dark khaki, but these are like actual dress pants and that just won't go with the vibe because it's kind of like a skater vibe and skaters wouldn't be wearing dress pants like that. These are navy, they're just cuffed though. They're not necessarily cut. And then these right here, these don't look bad. What is the price at? $64. So that's not bad. Let's go ahead and see. That's not, oh, it's a dress pant. So that's a dress pant again. So maybe we're trying to find something a little bit different. I'm gonna look on actually ASOS. So I just found these pants on ASOS and I think it's gonna work. So it is the ASOS skinny super cropped chinos in black. Now these look a little bit extra cropped compared to what he wears. 
If you could see, it seemed a little bit higher cropped, but I'm gonna go for the longer length and see if that works. So we'll see they have a 30-32, so hopefully that'd be a little bit longer. Also, they're black and they're not brown, but I think that's okay because brown is a little bit harder to find. I looked on the website and didn't see any in brown, but I'm just gonna go for this look. I know it's a little bit different. It's that skater look, but I think I'm gonna be able to make it work because I didn't wanna go for something that was just normal, like shorts or the pants. Go for something different. Just looking for Converse One Star as well right now so we can see if they have any. Converse One Star official site. We'll be able to find these for a retail price. His shoes that came out are reselling for more like 140 or something like that. So I don't necessarily want to go for those. I'm going to just try to find like a navy pair. So it's actually through Nike. I think here's a navy one right here. There we go. 85 bucks. Hopefully they have my size. I think I could do probably 11 and a half or 10 and a half. I think I'm going to go for an 11 and a half. I think I can make it work. Converse I haven't worn them in a while, but I think I can make an 11 and a half work. And it's that navy color. I'd rather do that than go for like a black and get a different size. Next, we have to find a bomber. So I'm just gonna look up green bomber jacket because this one is a little bit different. If you can see, it's got like, you know, it's like a darker green and it's not like a normal bomber. You get it like H&M or anything. It's like a puffy bomber. So I'm gonna look and see what they got. See, it's not like that. This one's not bad. That's a women's bomber. That's $1,900. These are women's too. I'm gonna uh, do men's. Zoomies has a few different right here as we can see. I don't know if these are all men's or women's. Let's go to men's. So I found this one right here, which kind of looks similar. It's just like a green bomber. I don't necessarily like how it has like the pocket here, but at the same time, it's just green. It's simple. It's a little bit puffier, not like super puffy. And I think the color is a little bit more accurate rather than like an olive color. So it's like a dark green. So we'll go for this one and see if they have my size. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe call around and see if they have it in anywhere local so I can maybe go pick it up. So it'll be a little bit faster because Zoomies typically has been taking longer. Or I'll just go ahead and order it. So we'll see about that. As well as the hat. So I'm gonna go, probably just go for a hat. Um, why am I doing that? I'm gonna go for a hat on here. Now, honestly, for this one, I'm just gonna get any hat, maybe a green one. And I think if I'm gonna go in store, if I could find them if they had this jacket in store. As far as the t-shirt goes, I don't know exactly what I should do because it's just so different. I mean, he wears stuff like this. It's like a graphic tee. Maybe it could be something like that or just a plain white one. So what I'm gonna do, if I'm going to the store for Zoomies, I mean, a lot of people said the whole thing could be at Zoomies. I can get the bomber there, the hat there, and then I'm gonna try to find a t-shirt, maybe at like Urban Outfitters or Paxson or something. So we'll go ahead and look on there. I mean, the t-shirt can really be anything, like honestly, like I could do like a Santa Cruz shirt or a Vans shirt, just throw in like that skate flair. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the outfit. The main thing that I wanted to get on the computer and order was the pants because crop pants are difficult to find. I think it'd be harder to get those in store like packs and H&M or anything like that. So I'm happy I was able to find those on ASOS. And so we'll incorporate the price and everything when I get everything so we can see how much it actually costs us, but I probably won't put it in the title. So now let's go ahead and head to Zoomies and just see if they have a bomber jacket so I can just go ahead and get it in in store and everything will be okay so let's go ahead now time has finally come and now it is time to see what this outfit looks like we're just gonna open everything up real quick we'll just start with the pants because this is the part that I'm worried about most because I'm, I'm curious to see how this is gonna look I'm a little bit a little bit worried to see how it's gonna look because it's a little bit out of the normal comfort zone but we'll go ahead and open this up it's just nice simple packaging you guys probably have seen stuff like this this looks like the right material it's like a khaki Oh shoot, man, these are short. He's, the whole thing can fit in the picture. So <laughs> let's hope that this is gonna go okay. So we'll see how that goes. We got the shoes right here. Let's open these up. The Converse, I haven't had a pair of Converse One Stars. I don't know in how long. I obviously have the CDG Converse right there, but those are a totally different shoe than these. So we'll open this up. These are super heavy, okay. Ready, wham, blam, bam. All right, there we go, we got the Converse right there. They're like the premium ones, I think. I think that's the ones I bought. And so they're like a nicer material. And if you guys can see the material up close. Different shoe, we'll see how this looks on me and see kind of if we're vibing with it. There it is, we got the shoe right here. Next, let's go to the jacket and the shirt and the hat. So for the shirt, I'm just using this Uniqlo $5 shirt right here. It's just like a regular tee. Just because he didn't have a specific t-shirt in the picture, so we're just gonna go ahead and use white. All we can see is white, and so we're gonna use that just so we don't throw off the outfit at all. You could use a graphic tee if you wanted to, but then we have the jacket and the hat. So they did have this in store, as you can see. Here is the bomber right here. It's just a green. I'm not really a fan of the zipper for this particular outfit challenge as well as it has the pocket on the sleeve right here. But for the purpose of this, this was the best price point in terms of getting that color because I didn't want an olive or anything like that. 
So I think this is the closest we are going to get for a decent price. The other prices were at like $100. I just think that wouldn't be that proper. But we will load up all the prices so you guys can see everything together. Here's the hat right here. I don't really mind how it looks on me too much. I thought I wouldn't like it as much. But you'll go ahead and see it when I do the clips of the full outfit. It was 30 bucks. Nice obey hat. Something simple. Camo. I think it's a good vibe. The moment of truth has come. We have navy shoes, olive bomber, camo hat, black pants, and a white shirt. Let's see how this is gonna look. I don't know, we'll come and talk about it and see what I think afterwards, but this is what you guys are waiting for, so let's go. There is the fit. So I got to get your guys' opinions down below what you think. I mean, the bomber jacket is kind of normal. It's just like a puffy bomber. This is the right look that I wanted where it's a little bit puffier like that. And it's not actually that thick. And then it's just kind of got that look. Of course, we have the white t-shirt. Then the hat. Now, I don't know what you guys think about the hat. I feel like a full-blown skater when I put it on. So I'll put it back on. You guys can see. I feel like a full-blown skater. I don't know. I kind of like Mac Miller or something. Just like the flat bill. I don't know. I don't think it looks too bad, but I probably wouldn't wear this typically. And since I don't really skate anymore, I don't wear hats like this or anything. I used to skate back in the day and I wore different hats and stuff. But I think that it's not that bad. The crop pants, they're a little short. I think these are like a, a super crop because they just, I don't know. So I had some socks that are a little bit longer and I pulled those up because that's kind of the look that it goes for. So as a converse, they're not bad. They're a little bit comfortable. Don't see myself really wearing those all the time. I finally did it. You guys have been asking for it. So who's next? Post Malone is one I've been seeing. Future as well. So let's go ahead and find out who's going to be next. You guys got to let me know. The alpha was about $200. I'm going to put the exact prices up on the screen. The pants were like $26. Bucks. The shirt was like $5. The jacket was 55 and if I would have gotten his actual jacket, if it was still for sale, that would have been 90 bucks. So it would add a little bit more price to it. Shoes about 85 bucks. So we're getting around $200 price point, which isn't bad. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. Please leave a like down below if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.